Hello everyone, myself Piriyavrath and welcome to the Helpful Techniques. So in this video, we will be discussing about Wipro Fraser Recruitment Drive 2021. So if you are discussing further, if you are new to our YouTube channel, then please subscribe and press the bell icon so that you will be able to get the timely updates regarding latest of campus. And recently we uploaded a video regarding Capgemini, IBM and Accenture, Amazon and MDocs, Johor Cognizant Recruitment Drive. And uh, recently discussed about the Capgemini recruitment process, uh, about the written test, technical and the HR interview etc. So that uh, so every day we are uploading one to two videos regarding latest of campus. So I am requesting all of you to please subscribe so that you will be able to get the timely updates regarding latest of campus about the interview preparation video or the guides. So now let's discuss about the Wipro recruitment. So it is this one is the WILP 2021 that means work integrated learning program 2021 so now let's discuss about what is the uh, this program or uh, what is the benefit uh, if you are attending this off campus so this is a uh, this is a unique learning integrated program which offers the BCA and the PSC students so that means B, B Tech or the MEM Tech candidates are not eligible for this off campus. So no need to uh, worry about that. So we have uploaded, uh, made or you can say shared uh, 10 to 15 links on regarding the latest off campus. So go through the links in the description of this video so that you'll be able to apply for the other off campus. And whenever we pro hires the fresh graduates for the, uh, from the B, B Tech or the M Tech uh, backgrounds, so we'll be making another video and we'll be notifying you all before it gets expired. So no need to worry about that. But this time BCA or the PSC candidates are eligible for this off campus only. And the students a chance to build a remarkable career at Wipro while pursuing their higher education in MTech from the primary educational institution in India sponsored by Wipro. So basically Wipro will be doing the sponsorship for your MTech graduation or the post graduation or the higher education and during the year learning you will be getting the stipend as well. It's a very good thing. So now let's discuss about the eligibility criteria first. And one more thing I need to uh, tell you in this video we will be discussing about the eligibility criteria, the selection process and about the uh, application process. So in the next video we will be discussing about the syllabus, about the uh, frequently asked questions and the answers. So it is not possible to discuss everything in one video or the in the single video but in the next video we will be discussing uh, one by one separately. So I am requesting all of you to please subscribe so that you will be able to uh, get the timely updates. So educational qualification required 10th pass, 12th pass as well as the graduation 60% minimum. So for the 10th and 12th there is no certain uh, percentage criteria here but for the graduation minimum of 60 percentage is required then year of passing only the 2021 year of pass out or the batch candidates are eligible for this off campus other batch candidates that means the 2019 or 2020 are not eligible then qualification is the bachelors of computer application bca bachelors of science bsc eligible streams are computer science or any other related fields like information technology mathematics statistics electronics and the physics these are the branch candidates can apply for this off campus and one more thing here you must not be having maximum of three years of education gap is allowed for this off campus more than three years of exp uh, educational gap is not allowed so one other thing so now let's discuss about the selection process so basically there will be four rounds of interview so the first one is the online assessment of 8 80 minutes so there will be the aptitude test just a second yeah online test 80 minutes then aptitude test verbal analytical quantitative each of 20 minutes for uh, four sections 2020 2020 and written communication test 20 minutes so in that test they will be asking the basic communication uh, things like uh, 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 
लाइक ऐसे राइटिंग एक्सेट्रा देन आफ्टर कंप्लीटिंग द रिटर्न टेस्ट देर विल बी द एच आर फॉलोड बाई वन टेक्निकल फॉलोड बाई वन एच आर इंटरव्यू सो टोटली देर आर फोर सिलेक्शन प्रोसेस और द फोर राउंड एंड वन मोर थिंग द कैंडिडेट्स दो जो हैव अटेंडेड द विप्रो सिलेक्शन प्रोसेस इन द लास्ट थ्री मंथ्स आर नॉट एलिजिबल फॉर दिस ऑफ कैंपस and last date to apply for this off campus is the 16th may 2021 so we have more than 10 days in our hand to apply for this off campus so this is all about the eligibility and the selection process so if you are willing to apply for this off campus simply click on the apply now button then it will take you to the uh, another page so here again you need to click on the apply now button or apply button here then there will be the login page so first of all you need to this is the registration page you can say so first of all you need to provide your email address after providing your email address there is certain policy or you can say data privacy etc uh, no need to uh, discuss about all these things you can ignore then you click on the next button then after clicking on the next button it will be taking you to the uh, registration page so this is the whole uh, process there are totally four uh, steps you need to follow so first one is the cv or the resume uh, upload process so asterisk mark is there that means the these are the mandatory fields you need to provide no need to uh, mention or fill up the non mandatory fields so you need to update upload your updated resume from your computer or the from your local device google drive dropbox or one drive so if you want to upload your updated resume from your uh, local device you need to click on the my computer and you can browse and you can upload then upload your photo so after uploading your photo it's just a identity proof you can say so after you uploading your updated resume automatically it will fetch all that thing things like primary phone number secondary phone number your address and date of birth you need to provide manually then education details etc it will be uh, fetching all the details no need to put or uh, uh, type manually all these things then create a login first lo here login uh, here you need to provide your email address primary email address again then password you need to provide eight characters maximum uh, minimum then password again you need to re enter salutation etc you need to put then address type home address or other home address suppose i am uh, filling then address you need to provide city country etc you need to provide postal code then date of birth identity type for indian Uh, Aadhaar card number, driving license, PAN number, or password number, or voter ID. These are the options, or you can say identity proof details you can use. So suppose I am using or choosing Aadhaar number, you need to provide the identity number. That means the Aadhaar card number you need to provide. Then educational details, tenth, fourth, twelfth, you need to fill up the board you can select or the percentage you need to choose. These are the easy process or the easy steps. so after that you need to simply you need to choose your perform, uh, preferences time zone it is not mandatory if you want to fill up or uh, provide this detail in you can provide the detail kolkata you need to choose you need to search from this uh, drop down otherwise you can skip this part no no need to uh, provide that this detail so after filling all the details hardly it will be taking 5 minutes to uh, provide all the basic details so after providing the mandatory and the basic details you need to simply click on the submit profile so i am not clicking on the submit profile because i have not filled the mandatory fields it will be throwing me the error or you can say exception so these are the application process or the uh, selection process we discussed so in our next video we'll be discussing about the um, syllabus and the some of the questions they may ask in this off campus so if you have any doubt regarding this off campus you can comment your doubts in the comment section below so that we'll be able to help you as soon as possible so thank you for watching and all the best for your job search